Hello, my name is Marcus. I'm the creator of Icarus and today I want to explain the effect section. Icarus comes with a po very powerful effect section. You can see it in this area on the screen here. Um, there you got uh, three modular effect slots. Each of these slots can load a, a large number of different effects. And additional to this we got a feedback e effect which routes the output uh, of the effects back to the input with some kind of delay on filtering and this way you can create very interesting uh, new effects. On the routing tab you can see how the effects are routed. They can be routed in serial, in parallel or the left channel can be routed to the first effect and the second one to the right effect and this way uh, you can set it up that uh, different oscillators are routed to different effects if you pan them left or right. First I want to give a quick overview about the effects that uh, Ecos comes with. First we got a large number of different reverb types. They are ranging from uh, huge halls to uh, small rooms, uh, reflections and there is also an infinite reverb which is uh, interesting for doing ambient music. Then we got uh, different delay types, a ping pong delay, a multi-tap uh, effect delay, uh, several variations with the diffuse or a band pass sound and the resonator. Then we got several chorus and ensemble types, a phaser, uh, multi-stage stereo phaser, flanging, vibrato, tremolo, autopan, uh, rotary, speaker simulation, uh, equalizer, uh, and then distortion effects like soft saturation, hard saturation, wave shaping, multiband distortion, and then we got a section with low fee effects like a degrader, noise, and some special types like the compressor and the simple trans gate. The interesting here is uh, that you can keep combine these effects uh, in these three modular slots to create new effects. And I just want to show you some of the templates uh, that we have here. You can load those effect templates by clicking on the tool button. And there you can save and load your own effect creations or use some of the templates that come with uh, Icarus on as factory sounds. And here we got, for example, a template which uses a reverb in the first slot and then uses a stereo phaser um, to uh, do some interesting modulation on the tail of the reverb. I can first uh, play it in the dry, so this is a plain sawtooth playing here. And now we'll switch on the effect section. There are also other interesting uh, templates. This effect, for example, uses a very large reverb and then adds a rhythmic structure with uh, the trance gate here. And then you can do uh, very uh, weird stuff like uh, this sound here. Or here combine several delay effects uh, to create new interesting uh, rhythmic textures. What we'll do now is uh, th uh, that I will show you some of the reverb and delay types which are interesting. Here we got a reverb big which has a very large sound. Also very interesting for ambient music is the, the infinite reverb. Then 
we got a multi-tap delay. Reflections. Which adds some kind of scattering effect. Then we got a stereo phaser. What's also interesting here is that you're able to feedback the output of the effects back to the input. At first, pick a, a chorus type of effect. Then go to the feedback section. Feedback can, can get pretty loud. <laughs> so uh, if you want to protect your ears, uh, make sure that the clipping is still on. can take for example the reverb and combine it with the feedback to make it even more large. And then go to the second uh, slot and add the phaser for example. And if you like that patch, you can go to the Tools menu and then save it as an effect template. This way you can load and save your own effects. What's interesting and quite unique to Icarus is the ducking here. And what it currently does is that it dynamically changes the mix of the delay. And if you play a sound, the ducking will make sure that the delay tail doesn't overlap the current sound and it helps to, to clean up the mix. Uh, I will demonstrate this here. So I first play uh, the delay without the ducking. So you can hear that the delay overlaps with the, uh, the notes I'm currently playing. And now we'll turn in the ducking. If it's to 100% it will completely blend out the delay tail when I uh, hold down the keys. The future is now electronic. You gotta get into the room.